All right, I think we'll call this meeting to order. Everybody stand. The prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for our many blessings. We ask that you bless your, this meeting and the people attending. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On the agenda is first and second reading of bill number 536 authorizing the issuance of combined waterworks and sewer sewerage system refunding revenue bond series 2021 and the principal amount of one million eighty thousand dollars make a motion that we have the first reading of bill number 536 on title a second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, bill number 530, ordinance number 536. Authorizing the issuance of combined waterworks and sewerage system refunding revenue bond series 2021 in the principal amount of one million eighty thousand. Motion to approve. Second. Aye. 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 Need a motion for the second reading. Motion for the second reading of the water and sewerage system refunding revenue bond series to 2021 by title only with uh, approval initiation i guess that's what i'm going to say in a second second all in favor aye aye aye, aye. second reading of bill number 536 authorizing the issuance of combined waterworks and sewerage system refunding revenue bond series 2021 in the principal amount of one million eighty thousand motion to approve second reading in act bill number 536 shall we also authorize execution of the bond purchase agreement? and i will make that part of the motion second all in favor sharon uh, Aye. 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 Okay. Helen, you might explain um, how much we're saving by refinancing this. Well, actually, I'm going to let Angela do that. The finance people do all the fancy net present value terminology, but in hard dollars over a 12 year period is about $87,000. But when they factor in the, the cost of inflation and those sorts of things, it comes in at about $48,000 in savings over 12 years. It's what it's worth today for that 12 years of savings. Well, that's a good amount to be able to save for, yes, for the taxpayer money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. Thank you. So we've approved the bond agreement, purchase agreement. So we're going to number three, trash contract extension and rate increase. Chris? Good afternoon, board. <clears throat> um, when I spoke with you all back a couple months ago, mm -hmm. uh, you'd given permission for me to sit down with the staff and negotiate a uh, renewal rate. Uh, Chris and I discussed and came to a hard fought battle of three and a half percent for your approval. Yeah, I read through it and it looks really good. So I appreciate the work you guys did. In addition to the three year extension, is that? In addition to the, <coughs> excuse me, the three year extension as well. Yeah, Thank you. yeah, I saw that. And remind them again, if you will, about the, the monthly uh, trash pickups you're going to do instead of the twice a year. So again, um, as we discussed before with your guys' approval, we'll do a, instead of doing the twice a year spring cleanup, <coughs> customers can call in for a one time. Yeah, we, <clears throat> excuse me, one time a month bulk item pickup, so if they need a couch or anything like that, um, 
similar to everything they had prior to. Um, if they have just bags out, we consider up to 15 bags of trash, one bulk item. So, okay. And uh, we put together some flyers. I've got uh, some additional flyers I'm going to print off and bring down for them as well. Perfect. And we've already had people actually calling in and schedule a few with us. So that's great. Good. And Angela, can we get this on our website? The what they're actually the the splash page. Yeah, I have there. hooked it into the Facebook once already, and okay. it's been on the website. Yeah. Is the call-in mandatory for the extra pickup? It's not mandatory. We'll pick it up no matter what. But it just helps us to know about know it and keep it, you know. We'll push it out. So that way, way, if somebody, you know, ends up having to hide a bit or something, right. we can call another driver and have them help. meet him over here. Right. Have a supervisor come over and meet him over here to help him. Because sometimes those can be kind of tricky. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. 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 We've got them say. stuck on the uh, truck a couple of times. <laughs> because they'll flip open on you. To, Little spring oh <laughs> my gosh, yeah, I bet it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can I get a motion? I so move it. Okay. Second. Motion to uh, motion for everybody. Cheryl? Aye. 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 Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. It. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for your extra work on that, too. I appreciate that. How so. many times you guys need to just let me know? Chris keeps me. All right. <laughs> okay. Update on sign for Shulvin Park. Chris has been working on this really hard, so I appreciate all of his work on it. And what? Okay. Well, you guys have seen the the three bids we've got, and then Craig sat down with me also. Uh, we're uh, he was he was willing to give us some ideas on on what to do and how to do it. Um, we just got these back in today. Uh, and you guys have, have seen them, seen what they call, we're going to city crews, going to build the structure and get the lettered signs. All we needed was the top two signs. And uh, what we've been fighting lately is location to put it in. We're fighting utilities in that area and, and line of sight and things like that. So uh, that's what we're working on. If anybody else would like to see the signs, be glad to pass them around. Uh, you've seen them, uh, so I would entertain a motion to, to move forward with them and uh, we'll get them going and get the structure up. Okay, and what are we looking at a timeline for that? Uh, the structure, all the steel's cut for the structure, probably a couple of days, maybe three days of welding, and then we'll have to auger the holes, uh, sand them up, concrete around them, and, and then uh, we're uh, putting up, putting tabs in to put these signs on, and then we would uh, lay false rock around the bottom, like rock, and. Okay. Pretty to sign up all we could. Uh, we decided to leave it pretty basic, the, the blue and the white. Uh, so it stands out and says, here's our park. Right. Turn here. What's the right. size of those? Four by eight. Yeah, and it'd be one on each side. So the problem we're having is trying to stay off state right away, stay off the water line, stay off the fiber, stay off the cable, stay off the phone, and still be able to see it. <laughs> so, getting 80, 80 foot off the road uh, doesn't do much good, but we're 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 going to work on it tomorrow. We're going to go up there and, and still stay within the constraints of our actual 50 by 50. But uh, we're how gonna, tall we'll get it will up. it be, Chris? Ten as far foot as, uh, to the top of to the, the top of it. Okay. Yes. And if we have to move it to where there's a dip down there, we may add two foot to it uh, rather than haul in dirt it would be disturbed soil then wouldn't hold as well so we we may have to add legs to it but the finished structure we'd like to have above grade 10 foot and then two four by eight below it one would be the marker and we can get that from uh, amazon ourselves and save quite a bit of money there uh, get that two-sided so we can put the letters up when they have an event or something like that so uh, i don't see why we couldn't have it up uh, depend. I mean, we're kind of at the mercy of getting these done. It was hard enough to get the bids, but uh, when we could get them done, it probably we could have them sign up in a week, uh, and then go from there. As far as pretty enough with rock and different things, and uh, there is electric in the area. It'd be pretty pricey to get electric to it. I thought we'd look at some uh, some solar lighting to see how good that worked. That's why I didn't want it real tall. Uh, so we can keep it down, light it easily, and have it in the line of sight rather than we have, we have to be uh, 10 feet away from the utilities below them. 
So that's where it was at. I'd make a motion. We go with the lowest bid. You got three bids. Could you tell me what the low one is again? Uh, sign man, who sign man does a lot of our signs, does the plaques, things like that. Two sixty per side. Five hundred and twenty. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Second that. Would you like me to favor? list? Aye. 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 Okay, perfect. And as you know, if you live in the city or even outside the city, our park is flooded down at Shadow Rock right now. So it is a little bit critical that we get everybody notified where our newer park is. And it's really nice. There is a lot of nice play equipment on it. There's basketball courts, I mean, a ball field. There's so much there. There's bathrooms. Um, so anyway, that's where we're at with it. We're trying to improve it as much so that we have our, everybody in this area has some place else to go if we don't have Shadow Rock, so. All right, discuss the drinking fountain for Shoals Bend Park. Uh, the park board met the first of the month and that was one of the things we brought up, was not having a drinking fountain that people could get a drink easily out of. Uh, would be handy and it could be attached to the uh, where the bathrooms are I think Chris is that mm -hmm. right so it's gonna be a pretty easy fix you know just be one advanced enhancement to that and help out mm -hmm. so. yeah I did get a bid on it and uh, they don't have them in, in stock but you can get a fountain at L&J for four hundred and five dollars and twenty nine cents uh, the only drawback I see is that uh, the bathrooms are located around back and uh, they're out of sight, out of mind, kind of away from the light. So we, uh, we've had a lot of vandalism on the doors back there. So uh, something we need to look at going forward, we need to look at security system in that area, uh, which we, we talked about before. Right. And we've had a camera up there, it's just a, a deer camera and we've caught a, a lot of things with just that. So. Uh, the, the police department has been great about locking and unlocking the bathroom, patrolling the area, but you know you can't be everywhere all the time. So we have had a lot of vandalism up there. So we might look at putting on the front of the building. Um, I know it'd be handier between the two bathrooms in the back, but I just think it would take a lot of vandalism. So yeah. we're going to look and see what how hard it would be to get a, a water line to it, and then eventually when we do the uh, do the pavilion over there, like run a water line, put a drinking fountain over there also, a freestanding one. Okay. That'd be good. That'd be good. All right. Perfect. Okay. Park board discussion. We have had numerous people on the park board. Um, nobody jumps up and volunteers to be on it. We usually talk somebody into it. Uh, right now, I think we have one active member. Well, we have two on the board that are rotating off at the end of this month. Okay. And they were both at the meeting. Uh, we had actually three there, and Nathan, the young, uh, young man from the high school, mm -hmm. can't think of his last name. Guy. Uh, Nathan Guy. Um, he tendered his resignation because he's going to go to Rolla and he thought that was too far to drive to come to <laughs> I didn't understand that. <laughs> well, nice, nice guy. Just yeah. really nice kid. The so. park committee has, park board committee has been assisting us yeah. in the past, but again, it's hard to keep somebody on it and we've got two going off and one moving out of the area. The alderman and the mayor, if actually make the decision anyway so it's my recommendation that we eliminate the park board and the headache that goes with it trying to find somebody to volunteer to be on it and just put it back on the alderman and the mayor to say here's what we're going to do and what we're going to do it and bring it to the council meeting and say here's what it's going to cost just save us a step and I think that's kind of too why we're seeing some of you know what we're addressing here on on the on this agenda as it is too so it's just easier to put it before the public versus 
I and think then, decisions can be made much faster. Yeah. And yeah. in a more smooth transition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do think there's other ways that we could get input from the city, from people in the city, if we wanted to, than have an established board that met once a month and things like that. Yeah. So. Okay. I made a motion to eliminate. Yeah. I would second the motion. Okay. And Cheryl? Aye. 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 Okay. Perfect. Well, I need two readings since it's in the manual. We'll have to have the next meeting. They'll draw something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want first? Yeah. That's what I think Dennis should still be the. I think so too. The our, liaison. Be our liaison. We, now, last meeting, you charged me with keeping water out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I haven't done a very good job. He's been a big disappointment. <laughs> We're just going to keep giving you jobs. Well, one, you can one, do. Of, one of the things, just to share with the group about that I look back on, in the last seven years, the flood, the park has flooded from May to September five times. Yep. Five out of seven years. And that's a change from when I first came here, uh, almost 19 years ago. It wasn't flooding that much. So the changes in pool level and all of that and stuff. So it's happening more often. So that's why the new park is so important to us and enhancing it and helping it be a better park. And then when we can use Shadow Rock Park, have it there. I think you have a great rapport with the community. So I think that's why, you know, with the, as far as the park liaison, you know, I think that's, I think you can probably bring what is I'll do my best. Okay, perfect. As the park czar, do you lean more toward Moses or Noah? <laughs> <laughs> I have never parted water. <laughs> well, we're still there's a third water. option, but I do have stories going. about nature and, and Barbie Dorgan and a few other things, but we won't go into tonight. So. While we're still talking about that, Chris put together some numbers. Did you get a bid from uh, Lumberyard on the Pavilion? Uh, yes, uh, and I just got today these preliminary figures. I still got to get two other lumber package bids, but uh, 10 6 was the first, first 30 by 40 bid. Uh, 6 by 6 uh, treated post metal trusses. Uh, I got my first concrete bid and might be the only, only one because everybody's so busy. Uh, it's going to be in the neighborhood of $7,500 for a 30 by 40 stamped, stained concrete to uh, match the two pavilions that we have there presently. And if everybody doesn't know what we're discussing here, um, we would, part of the park um, upgrades um, that we're looking at, at, we need to be able to have family functions at the new park. And so in order to do that, we need a bigger pavilion. And we haven't yet had the time or the money at that time, you know, to put that up during the pandemic. And so um, we're at that point now, we feel like we need to get that started and going. That's part of like with the sign. Um, those are just upgrades that we're gonna continue to make to that park so that it makes it more functional for our community. And so it, it's going to be a very nice pavilion, it looks. Do you have a, hard, a rough number on what that's going to run for the structure? The structure 10,600 10, is the first bid. So after I get the other two bids, okay. uh, and, and if I can get any more concrete bids, I'd like to put that on the agenda. Uh, mm -hmm. The city crew can get the pad ready. Uh, with the gravel will get great shot, and uh, we can help help the concrete guy offset some of the cost a little bit. How tall uh, are the sidewalls or the posts as far as from the ground to the edge of the roof? Uh, nine foot is nine what foot. We're, we're looking at. Okay. How long are the bids good for that we have? Normally 30 days. Mm -hmm. And we've got the funds that we can do this. Yes. And we've got water in the park, so we need to do this. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's happening so often this time of year Yeah, when people will enjoy. They want to have picnics yeah. and yes. And it's sad that it can't be in a location overlooked the lake, mm -hmm. but yeah, 
it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. It'll be a good enhancement. Yeah. So once we get the all the bids and we have our approval for that, how long do you anticipate the construction to take? Uh, the concrete guy said he could get the uh, he could get uh, get it poured within two weeks. He has a two week out schedule. Uh, the city crew is going to build the rest of the structure with our boom truck and our employees. Since they're not having to mow and upkeep another park. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it free time. It's not free it's time. It's got more time. <laughs> but it is, yes. Time. Reallocated time, yes. that's a good way to put it. Yep. Would this pavilion be reservable? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are they, they know the charges on that? We haven't got that far yet. But I don't imagine it'll be much different than what they are currently. And I don't really know if it's really $20. Like $20. $20 trying to make it a, you know affordable but yet kind of hold somebody to if they want to reserve it that they aren't keeping somebody else out of it so okay number seven discuss enhanced enterprise zone member appointments Angela we are getting ready to have our annual enhanced enterprise zone meeting in June and in looking over our appointments the member that represents the special taxing districts is uh, her term is expiring but she is also willing to continue in that role if you are so inclined we do have a vacant seat which is a member from the public that we will need to fill um, for june we'll have enough to make a quorum but we do need someone to sit in that vacant seat for our next meeting Okay. It's a once a year commitment. Generally the, the meeting lasts 15 to 20 minutes unless we were to have additional applications for uh, abatements. And then we would probably meet on a little bit different schedule, but right now we don't have anything to consider at this time. Yeah, we need to. Debbie maybe. Red. Debbie Redford is oh, Debbie uh, Redford. Okay. trustee for the health department. She's representing the three special taxing districts: Central Taney County Fire, the health department, and the developmental board. Okay. I get a motion to continue to appoint Debbie Redford. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> Okay, approval to write off unpaid utility accounts in the amount of $11,649.09. We have taken a payment on one of those today. The new balance is $11,574.92. This is the second half of what we started last meeting in cleaning up our delinquent accounts and moving towards a, a little more active collection process. At the recommendation of the auditor, yes. Okay. And then after this, we'll be able to stay pretty current with our new procedure of uh, not letting past dues go so long. Yes, and uh, Jack suggested that we do a mailing requesting information updates on our existing customers, which will probably roll out in phases so that we're not doing 1,200 of them in one week. And uh, then annually, the board will review the delinquent accounts and decide which ones seem to be uncollectible. And we'll move forward annually to not let it build up like we have. And turn what we can over to a collection agency. Yes, yes. And this is an accumulation of how many years since uh, we... Ten years. Ten years worth of past due mm -hmm. that we should have been charging off so much per year if they're uncollectible. Mm -hmm. So this is a catch-up thing. I make a motion we approve 11574 for utility write-off. I would second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Approved promotion and wage increase for David Williams. Chris? Uh, recently, back I believe it was in March, we lost an employee, maybe it's February, uh, lost an employee after 15 years. Um, honestly, I think the park had a lot to do with it. Uh, he was a good guy. He was the outside lead. Uh, he, the only excuse was he just just had enough. 
So I think there's a lot of factors in it. Uh, regardless, we wished him wished him well and uh, wished him luck in the future. That being said, uh, the guy outside next one in line stepped up and asked to be appointed to it. Uh, put him on a 60-day uh, probationary period. He's done a great job. Stepped up, uh, impressed me uh, with uh, the way he's handled situations. We've had several situations come up since then. He's handled them quite well. So I recommend that we. Uh, move him into this position of outside supervisor and uh, to the wage that the former supervisor had. Retroactively? Pardon me? Retroactively. Retroactively uh, before the 30 day or the 60 day uh, probationary period. Okay. Motion to approve David Williams outside supervisor promotion and salary increase. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Colin, thank you for stepping up. Appreciate, appreciate that. Will. It's tough enough. I know it's a, it's a lot of responsibility, so. It is more appreciate. than people know. Yep. Okay, approved firefighter applicant, Nate. I'd like to introduce Mr. Brent Burnett. Uh, Burnett. I know, right? He's a graduate from Forsyth High School. Um, a little year ago. Um, yep. Um, he was one of our juniors back early in, in 2020. He had left uh, his life in order from, from school and stuff. He's uh, now works down at Cranco full time and just came to us and requested him to, to be a volunteer for us. So I'd like to recommend his application to be moved forward. So. I love that. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. I move that we approve um, the new applicant. Okay. I second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for stepping up. I appreciate that. At least you know what you're getting into. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. One program. Yeah. 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 I'm not new to the area. So yeah. You're familiar yeah. with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's a very good thing. Mm -hmm. All right. I have approved fire department residency application. All right, I've got a, an update. I've briefed a few of you on, uh, on the fire crew jets and unfortunately has resigned as of this morning. So I'd like to pull that application obviously from a residence. I would like, since it's on the agenda, if I could just discuss maybe, because currently it's $30 for the um, a month for the firefighter to stay there for their the rent plus $100 deposit. Um, part of their response, to kind of give you a briefing, part of their responsibility is 80 hours a month is what they require to um, give to the city as far as volunteer time, taking care of the station, going station two, and things like that. So there's some, um, you know, trade-offs there, but didn't know if that's something you guys want to adjust or leave it at $30 or adjust it um, as you guys need. I think that back 10 years ago is when that was decided. So. Um, does the city pay all utilities there and then they're just paying the $30 correct. to stay there in the 80 hours then? Correct. What are your feelings? Um, you know, I, obviously it's not, you know, Hilton, you know, there is a lot of responsibilities for there. Um, I, you know, I don't think it's out of mind to, to raise it some just to, to make sure that they know they have a commitment and it's not just a slack job. Obviously, we go through a vetting process and an application process before we put them in there. Um, that's beyond the department at least a million years. So, you know, <coughs> fifty to hundred dollars is kind of what I would look at. Um, the eighty hours they work is that logged in time. It is. Yeah, it's logged in. So they're required each month to log that through. I used to it was paper. Now it's uh, on our emergency reporting. So they actually log their station time as they, they put in. And so. you check the condition of to make sure they do right. everything as Yeah, as well as the, the station maintenance and cleaning, vacuuming, and that sort of stuff. We haven't had anybody in there for, for I don't know, five, six years, so it's been a while. Um, but we do have a few interested firefighters that, so go through your well, it's on there, we probably should at least, if, if you guys wanted to make any changes, now would be the time. Well, they're committing um, to 80 hours a month. I don't, 
honestly, I don't think we ought to be charging more than fifty dollars. That's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. I agree. And fifty dollars so, is my thought. Yeah, and so um, I've moved I that think we, it's fair. Yeah, I've moved that we charge fifty. Raise that to fifty dollars for rent for the residency. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And I think your terminology of making sure they clean their dishes right after they eat is very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, the minutes of April 19th, 2021 meeting. I move the approval of the minutes of the April 19th, 2021 meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Perfect. All right, bills for approval. I move that we pay or approve the bills April the 22nd, $21,452.18. April the 29th, $1,909.19. May the 6th, $31,771.88. May the 13th, $147,123.94. And of that, $113,430 was the final payment that we had with our previous bond service for the water and sewer. And so that's that was our final payment to them. Perfect. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, financial statements as of April 30th, 2021. Okay. You have your comparative of your cash balances between this year and last year. We are uh, improving our cash position a bit, uh, primarily in the restricted funds, which is fine. We have a use for those funds. Your budget is looking uh, pretty healthy. We are conservative on expenditures and we are collecting our revenues as as we would expect to, uh, given calendar year timing. Um, but with that said, it is time to begin the next year's budgeting process. So in June, I'll be getting from the department heads their requests for what they, uh, what programs they want to continue and things they need to buy, and then I'll be putting that together for you um, in June for sure to be before you in July, and if you want to have a separate budget session, we can do that as well. But uh, it'll take me all of June to put it, stick it all in a shake and shake it up. With the way things look this, um, and with the revenue that, that we have, and that, and is, do you think it will be possible that we could possibly fit the body cameras in for those police officers this, Coming, upcoming year? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you wish to include in car cameras, it might be the time to do that as well. Yeah. But With things going the way they've been going lately, I'm just more and more increased. I, I, I think the need is there. So that's something we seriously need to look at. Yeah. The one thing. I mean, I'm we've talked about it in the last year and stuff, but. It's things are kind of really going a little bit. The one thing I will need is a real number, okay, uh, a real ballpark number, and okay. then this would probably be the year that we might add or rotate out a patrol car. So that's quite a yeah. load on the budget. I know for one department, right? Um, so with some numbers, we can figure out what that's going to look like, but. Okay, I just wanted the, the alderman to be aware that, that I am really pushing for those cameras because of um, just in, the increase of, of incidents that are happening with our, you know, with the public. And so, um, not with, between our officers, it's just things that are happening. And so, um, just to protect everyone. And so, that's, I think it's a, a, a tremendous need at this point. Well, unfortunately, we're seeing things happen that two years ago we wouldn't have dreamed right. were happening even in our community. Yeah. And it's everywhere. So, 
anyway, I just want to make sure our officers know that, you know, that we are, we're behind them and um, that, you know, it's something that, an incident that happens, there's proof somewhere along the line. So, anyway. So, all right. Approval of transfers from April 20, oh, did I miss one? Oh, no, we didn't do a, didn't do a motion for the financial statements. Sorry, I got to talking. <laughs> Tend to do that. I move that we approve the financial statements of April 30th. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 No. Okay. No, it's you're, me talking. You're good. Yeah. Thank you for keeping me on the line. Uh, all right. And uh, approval of transfers from April 22nd, 2012 through May 12, 13th, 2021. Uh, how does that? That's Those are 21s. Okay. April. So that's be 21s. Uh, I see. I'm in 2012. Typo? I'm in 2012. Yeah. That's for free. I was going to say. All right. Sorry so, about that. Well, that's a, that's a pretty long transfer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't think that we it's a long time. Approve those transfers. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So you do make mistakes. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Does anybody have anything they'd like to add? I do. Um, I need to ask a couple of questions just to be, uh, to, to sort of clarify. When you guys have first and second readings, does that approve the bill from that point on? Or is that, I'm not for sure exactly how the readings work. Yes, they do. Yeah. That's, that's the second, second, the second reading is to an act. So the first reading is to advise you, and the second reading is to an act. So there's no transition between the first and the second. So, okay. And so the, the unpaid utilities that were written off from last month, is that the same utilities as a, another additional eleven thousand dollars from the month before. Your fourth because we have thirty-one thousand dollars in written off utility bills and yes. ten years. And ten years. Well, it's fine, but why didn't you guys do it all together? Because I had to make a, a list of them individually okay. and make sure that they were valid bills. We couldn't just give them one single report and say go for it. Okay. So that's, quite a few accounts. Okay. It I was. Know. If you see the list, it, there's a lot of it. <coughs> And so, um, I mean, because you're talking, some of them are $50, some of them are $900. So, you know, it, there's a whole lot of gap in between of, of the amounts. And so that's ended up being a lot of different accounts. Sure. I just was curious why you guys did them in two different segments. Well, and, and to address your question on first and second readings, uh, typically we do not like to do first and second readings in one meeting. We normally like to have them on two different meeting periods of time, but there are times, such as with this bond revenue issue, that it's pertinent that we have to do it in one reading. And because of the time involved in putting everything together and the coordination of it, it's not possible to spread it out over two meetings. So, when, I think it was the March meeting, is that when the campground, um, the campground reading bill took place? Campground reading. Um, RV meeting? Our, the RV, our, yeah. The RV. RVs on city property reading, yes. was that the one? Yes. So that one was because it was actually scheduled for one for February and one for March. We could not have the February meeting. So we were trying to take what we had in February to condense it to the March, all of it together. Sure. Uh, before the meeting, I had actually contacted three of the council. Not, I mean, I contacted you. You told me to contact Chris. Uh, Chris wouldn't talk to me. When did you try to contact me? I tried to contact you on a weekday because I was told not to contact you on a Saturday. And you said we were having a nice day. Show me that. Show me where you contacted me. You haven't tried to contact me. Yeah. Weeks, Becky. Weeks. Christopher. No. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, move on. Okay. You just want okay. to catch so bad blood. What? What? Then how, who did you contact after? I didn't. I actually ran into uh, Mr. McCullough at the at the um, post office the day after, 
uh, the meeting, and I said, you know, I wasn't able to go because there was there was an ice storm, and he told me that I need to go find out from somebody else that he didn't have time for it. So I just walked away. So I'm kind of disappointed. So what what is it in there that you're disappointed with? I'm disappointed because I actually had been looking at a piece of property to put a campground in, and I came to Larry Reynolds and I had asked for the ordinances, and he gave me a list of the ordinances, and then the next thing I know, they're making different ordinances. And I asked if this was going to, does this trigger your memory? I said, is this going to affect the project that I'm doing in town? And I told you no. And didn't, didn't, we already change, have, didn't, it wasn't it, didn't we already have the ordinance? It's just a, it was just a, a few words where they couldn't, altered in yeah, it. They couldn't live in it at their, it was a, a use. I, a I use. completely it was bad agree with the ordinance that yeah. was made. But when I ask specifically about what the ordinance is, is, and then I'm told that, you know what, you don't have time for me. And then I ask you specifically if it had anything to do with me. And you said I didn't contact you about it when I did contact you about it. Then I asked you, yeah, and then you just now got through saying that it didn't. How long ago it. was that? And why is this right. an issue tonight? Why is it an issue tonight? Because I have actually tried two different times to have a special meeting between Forrest, you, and somebody else. This is else. the problem, Becky. You're getting too many things mixed up with city business. You get personal business, city business, your business, things that's happened at your business, accusations, all of this wrapped up into a point where city employees can't take your phone calls, are blocking you because of, of how you're acting, okay? Sir, so this, I'm, going this to, is why. I'm going to tell you right now that I have asked on several different occasions, okay. Mr. Forrest, do you want to stand in front of the camera with a smirk? Okay, we're going to... Uh, we, this is getting to be where it's you're involving our employees and you can't do that in a public meeting. I can't, you can't I, do that in I a public meeting. I try to get meeting. it on the agenda and I've tried to go Even back then you months. can't do that in a public meeting, just so you know. And so uh, you can't discuss employees in a public meeting. So and so like I'll be on the agenda and then I'll be able to say my piece. You won't no. be able to talk about an employee though. Personnel is off limits. It is. Period. It should be addressed by the people. Isn't there a way to have a closed session to talk about an employee issue? Amongst them. Amongst and us. Not the general yeah. public. I understand that, but wouldn't you want to have information in a closed session meeting from the person with the complaint? Otherwise, there's no transparency. That makes no sense. They, they've been given a lot of information about several different things. So I know you're them? sitting out there judging from I'm not me judging. not I'm not informed, judging, but they have had a lot finished? and I have. No, no, no. I'm not judging. I'm just looking at it from other public bodies. My my experience is education, so I mean I know it's not exactly the same. I'm just saying at some point, don't you guys want transparency somewhere in there? It's it's almost and and, and Chris, we're friends. But, I, but I have nothing you against you. That's, I, I just want you to, I want to know what you want to be transparent. I don't want anything to be transparent. I'm asking a oh. question because it sounds to me like you guys are saying, you can't complain about employees. That's off the table. Well, you don't that's know the, the whole point. Story. You no. don't know the whole story. I, I don't that's, want the whole story. I'm asking well, how that, that works. works. Don't ask us to change can, stuff if you, you don't can, have the whole story. You can bring in a complaint to, you can send a complaint to me and then I can discuss that with the alderman in a closed session meeting. Okay, that's what I was yes. asking is what's but the procedure? But you can't bring in an open, openly complaint so that it's on camera, everybody hears it. And, totally you know, understand. That yeah. was not what I was asking. Okay. My understanding from the answer you were giving was there's no way to do it. And I was trying to clarify no, for the people who didn't understand that there's got to be a way to do it. Is. And yeah, with all due respect to Chris, I wasn't trying to attack him. We've been friends for 40 years. Yeah. I just, I didn't think he was hearing me all the way through what I was trying to ask right. before he was answering it. And that's all I was saying was there's got to be a procedure. No, there but is. But does everybody know the procedure? Yeah. Do we publish that so people know? It is. Actually, okay. it's in the Sunshine Law. I was going to say it's part well, of Well, that's what I was thinking. They said, yeah. doesn't the city work under the Sunshine yeah, Law like pretty so much every other political body in so the who city? Do you call, who do you contact? Because I, 
I contacted three people at one time about having a private closed session meeting before I brought it publicly, and I was ignored. I haven't got anything from right. you. I didn't though. contact you, Kelly, okay. because I didn't know how to contact you. You need to contact me, okay? and you need to either send me a letter or an email, okay. and I address it from there. Okay. And they all know, and I have a, a mayor email. It's ForsythMoMayor at uh, uh, gmail.com. Okay, so if you send me an email, I can address it from there and talk to Chris. And if he feels like we need to have talk more with the with the alderman, then that's what we do. And I have absolutely that's the utmost respect. Yeah, that's the way I'm supposed to be talked to. Yeah, what he just said to me in public was no different than me addressing him yeah. as a person that I'm paying his salary. Okay, so that's that's the difference. So please direct those to me. Sure. And um, and then we'll I'll go from there. Okay. Sure. And um, that way we eliminate any uh, hearsay type of thing going on. He sure. said, she said, all those type of things. Does that make sense? Yes. And, and if we have it in writing, then it's a lot easier to to deal with. Okay. All right. Perfect. Anybody else have anything? All right. Well, I, need a... I hope everyone has a very good Memorial Day yeah. weekend, a very safe Memorial Day weekend. And I would move that we adjourn if somebody else tells us something. Okay. Sure. All in favor? Aye. 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 Perfect. Thank you.